We're at the Sight Sea Summit. It's Saturday, January the 27th. I'm talking to Natanis Christensen, um, and we're going to be talking about kids at school. I work at an elementary school in Victoria, British Columbia, and I wear my Sight Sea button because I have to go outside and work in the rain and the snow and whatever the weather. I greet kids and families. And at recess time, or sometimes other times, students say to me, what's that about? And they point to my button. And I say to them, well, I'll tell you what I know about it, is that the government wants to put in a dam and it's going to flood a lot of farmland so we can't grow food there. The animals will be displaced. They can't live where there's water that didn't used to be there. And they can't live where the water isn't anymore. And it's the fish live in the water and it really messes them up. The third thing is that the government hasn't gotten permission from First Nations people. They're against it and I'm supporting them and I'm against it too. And the kids look at me and they say, as I'm going through the food and the water and the First Nations and they go, that's great. They say, we shouldn't have that dam. So I work with kids from kindergarten to grade five and that's what they say. The Tass, that is a great story. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so and much. it's real. That is real. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit about what you, what you think about everything as well? Or? Oh, I think that it's really crazy to be doing things to farmland. I think it's really crazy to think that we can just do what we want with the land when we have all this talk of global warming. So to keep messing with it doesn't make sense to me and that's why I'm here this weekend and helping out. Um, what would you like to see come out? Yeah, you, I mean, uh, you've been carrying stuff around ever since I got here this morning while okay. I've been doing nothing. No, you're interviewing people. That's okay. important. Um, what would you like to see come out of this weekend? Oh, I would like to see Site C cancelled and I would like to see real talks with First Nations people. Reconciliation doesn't mean saying you're going to do something, it actually means you're going to do something, right. not just... Okay, you said Site C stopped and reconciliation, okay. If we focus on Site C, mm -hmm. we can say that's not about to happen because the government has made a decision mm -hmm. and I'm totally opposed to that decision. Yes. But what, is there something that can come out of this gathering, because this is a gathering, of just putting this thing together and we're in the second day and it's still on time, which is amazing. And just putting it together is, is a work of art. And there's a lot of people here, a lot of people with a lot of talent and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Is, is it gonna dissipate after this weekend or is there something? Oh, I sure hope not. And I, one of the things I noticed was a young man singing last night, singing songs and getting everybody singing. And he's, he's very young, he's like, 18, 19, 20, something like that. Maybe he's 22. I can't tell ages anymore now that I'm starting to gray. Oh, yeah, now that I'm over 30, they all look younger. <laughs> and it's going to come from us connecting with younger people and them, and we all need to get on board. We all, and we need to leave here energized with ideas and strategies to get the word out more. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Same here.